Today I want to show you how you can create a unique logo reveal animation like this one. And at the end of this video, you will be having the template that you can use and replace the logo at any time for different projects. I'm starting this animation with a basic composition with a 10 second duration. Import your logo and then your paper background. Drag the paper background into your timeline and also drag your logo into the composition timeline. Control Shift key C to quickly compose. Make sure you move all attributes into the new composition and name this logo holder. With the logo layer composition still selected, search for Vegas effect. Apply it to your new logo compositions, then switch this panel to effects and controls. Expand the image contour segment and change the channel to alpha. Make segment one and then change the blend mode to transparent. Change this color to somewhat gray. Feel free to select your own colors. I'm going to change width to 5 and I'm going to change end opacity to 0.7. Move your time indicator to 5 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the length. And then move your time indicator back to 0 and then set the length to 0. With your logo layer still selected, search for roughing edges effect. Make the border 1. I made the stretch width and height 1. Now let's import some brush stroke images. Drag and drop it into your timeline. These are just simple brush images. Hit S on your keyboard to scale down. I'll scale this down to about this point and then rotate it to 90. Feel free to use your own brush. The processes are all the same. If you take a look at these two brush strokes, one is soft and one is hard. The top one is hard. So what I'm going to do now is to duplicate the hard one into three. That is duplicated two more times. Then shift and scale it randomly. Select all the brush layers and then hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position properties. Make sure all your layers are selected. Then move your time indicator to 2 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe from, for all the brushes. Then move your time indicator back to 0 and move it off, up. Select all your keyframe. Hit F now your keyboard to easy ease. Switch to graph editor and then edit your speed graphs like this. Select all the three hard brushes. Control Shift C on your keyboard to pre-compose it and name this hard brush. Then pre-compose the soft brush and name that soft brush. Go into the hard brush composition and offset this randomly. Go back to the main composition. Select your logo layer, Ctrl D on your keyboard twice to duplicate it two more times. And then remove all the effects from the two duplicated logo layer composition. Move one of the duplicated logo composition in between the soft brush and the hard brush. Then select the soft brush, the logo, the hard brush, and then the logo again and offset it. Move it backward to about 4 seconds, 20 frames. Select the logo layer on top and the soft brush and then offset it like this. Toggle this timeline and reveal the track mat the first logo right here and set the track mat to alpha mat the brush stroke composition then i'm going to select the second one right here and select the track mat and choose the luma mat and this is what you have when you play back beautiful select the bottom logo holder layer then hit T on your keyboard to reveal the transparency. Then move your time indicator to about 6 seconds forward in time. 
and then set a keyframe for the opacity then move your time indicator to about seven seconds forward in time and set the opacity to zero now we're going to import a texture a paper texture import the texture drag and drop it into your timeline that will automatically add this paper texture to your timeline hit s on your keyboard to scale down if you have a bigger texture like mine then pre-compose it and call it texture we're gonna set this on the mode to screen then duplicate the bottom logo layer again and move it to the top also remove all the effects or you turn it off and then select the texture composition and set the track mat to alpha mat select the top logo composition right click on your timeline go to new and add an adjustment layer search for the transform effect add it to the new adjustment layer move your time indicator to about eight seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale and then make it 80 then move your time indicator to about five seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale scale it as much as you may like in this case like this is okay move to eight seconds again and then set a keyframe for the rotation and then move to one seconds forward in uh, backward in time and then rotate it to 90. you can use negative 90 if you want hit you on your keyboard select all your keyframes hit f9 to easy ease select the scale keyframe the last one right here and switch to graph editor and edit your curve like this right click on your timeline go to new and add a new solid layer call it vignette and make sure the color is set to black and then hit ok go to the eclipse tool select it and then double click on it this is going to automatically mask this part out and change the mask type to subtract and then hit f on your keyboard to bring up the feather properties make sure you feather it as feather it as much as this to whatever you may like and if you preview the entire thing this is what you have currently a unique sketch drawing of your logo revealing so that is it guys this is how you can create a unique hand drawing on paper to reveal your logo in adobe after effect if you find value in this tutorial please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel so that the algorithm will show this to more people let's continue the conversation in the comment section if you have any question i will respond as quick as i can so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios